Hi, Scoo here with Scoo's Whiskey Minute. Today I'm going to talk about a few terms that you will see on whiskey labels and what they mean. Uh, specifically, cask strength, single barrel, and small batch. Um, what people think about, I think, people who aren't complete whiskey geeks like me, when they think about whiskey being made, I think they roughly think that there's a barrel of whiskey, and when the distillery is ready, they come around with a bottle, and they put the bottle up to the barrel and, and, and push the tap, and the whiskey goes in the bottle, and they put a cap on it, and it goes on the shelf. Uh, but that's not how it happens. Uh, generally, in making whiskeys, uh, distilleries, single malt distilleries, bourbon distilleries, everyone, will blend different whiskeys from different barrels. Uh, that they have in their warehouse to get a certain flavor. Then they will dilute the whiskey with water down to an appropriate alcohol level or what they view as an appropriate alcohol level, usually between 40 and 45 percent to make the whiskey for them what they view as drinkable for everyone. Uh, but sometimes they make other whiskeys and, and those have these label terms. The first is cask strength. What does cask strength mean? Well, it means that they skip the water dilution. That is, they still get the whiskey from all the different barrels, uh, but they don't dilute it with water. So it is at the original strength that it came out of the barrels in it. Uh, for scotch, that's usually in the 50-55% alcohol range. For bourbon, it can be much higher in the 60-65, and even sometimes with the George T. Stagg series, it goes up into the 70% range, which is very hot in the, you probably want to add water category. Uh, all right, so what does single barrel mean? Um, and by the way, it can be cask strength or barrel strength. Those terms are interchangeable. Single barrel means it does come from just one barrel, that all of the whiskey in the bottle comes from a single barrel or single cask. That doesn't mean it's not diluted. A single barrel whiskey uh, can have water added. It just all comes from one barrel. If it is cask strength and single barrel, uh, then you're getting closer to where they just put the bottle under and tap the cask because it's all from one barrel, single barrel, it's no water added, cask strength. So then you really are getting a representation of what those whiskeys are like when they come right out of the barrel. Uh, what about our third term, small batch? Small batch means nothing, doesn't mean anything. It has no legal meaning, it's a marketing term. It's used to appeal to people who want an artisan bourbon or like to think of a craftsperson in their bourbon, but it means nothing. Um, you know, Jim Beam had their small batch series of Knob Creek and Bakers and Bookers and Basil Hayden. This is the Jim Beam Corporation. They're one of the largest whiskey distillers in the world. And they're using the term small batch. So that, I think, illustrates that it doesn't mean anything. Now, they may claim that, well, for us it does, and we put some barrels aside. But as a legal matter, it has no meaning, and there's no regulation of who can call what a small batch or how it's defined. It's marketing, and when I see the term, I ignore it. And that's different from cast strength and single barrel, which actually do have meanings and do mean something when they're on a bottle. And I hope that helps you uh, decipher your whiskey and, and enjoy it. Thanks very much.